We continue now with our second guest from that 1996 fantastic BYU football team, linebacker extraordinaire, Shea Muirbrook. Shea, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for having me. How was your perspective of James Dye leaping into the stands and getting penalties after those big plays? I loved it. I think that was um, the personality of our team. I mean, there was a lot of guys that had a lot of pride and uh, weren't afraid to celebrate. And he, yeah, he was, he did a flip on the sidelines, right? He's like yeah. roping thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, and that's the thing, you know, um, the old, uh, I guess it's the old adage, you know, if you don't like it, just stop them from doing it. Yeah, that's and, exactly right. And they couldn't stop it. Yeah. So, uh, no, I, I, I think it, uh, I think too much today, they try to button everything up and, and it's an emotional game. You know, you can't bottle those things up. What was the most excited you ever saw Lavelle Edwards get in your career at BYU? Oh, wow. Um, I mean, there's – and, you know, this is probably a secret, but uh, he's actually a um, quite lively guy, you know, on the sidelines and behind the scenes. Um, you know, I, I think there was – I think there was one time somebody got a, a personal foul or something. I, I remember him. He was he was pretty fired up. <laughs> and uh, so I don't know if you're asking in a good way, but he was <laughs> – he was definitely animated. And, um, and so – yeah, the, I mean, I remember lots of times there was, you know, that I don't think all the fans uh, know or remember. Um, but, yeah, he's a pretty lively guy. You had some huge shoulder pads. Now, th yeah. now the it was common too. in the era. Yeah. But, but you walked around, and I was like, wow, that guy's carrying a lot of pads around. Yeah. That uh, was by choice? That was just the kind of the, the signature of the, you know what I mean, of the era, I guess. And. I mean, yeah, you got a neck roll on there, and, and so those are linebacker pads. Load they're, up, baby. They're made to hit. <laughs> <laughs> Did it soften the blow a little? Because now you don't see it as much, although the technology's changed. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the technology's changed quite a bit, and, um, you know, the, it, the technique is, is obviously different. I don't think um, as many players are, are playing with, uh, you know, just their face, uh, so to speak. A, a lot of stuff now is, you know, directed try to get away from the head injuries. If you could pinpoint one thing that you were like, that is what made this team special, what would it be? Uh, competitive spirit. I, there was just uh, a lot of um, a lot of competitors on the team across the board that that really didn't settle for. I want to be good. I want to be great. I mean, they wanted to be the best, uh, and that wasn't just on our team, and it wasn't just in our league. It was in the nation, and so I mean. I think that's evident when you watch the team. There was uh, a lot of players with – we were talented, but the difference was is the talent was, was driven and focused, and, and a lot of players really, um, you know, wanted to excel and, and prove that point. WAC Defensive Player of the Year. I believe you're in the Cotton Bowl Hall of Fame. Didn't that's, they induct you a couple years ago today? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, six sacks in that game, including a safety. That's bonkers. Six! Hey, so what is the deal? Why do you guys keep showing this picture of my junior year? <laughs> what, what's Bleached going hair. on? Yeah, what's going on Because it was that? so awesome. That's yeah. why. That's uh, elite hair, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, well, what fantastic. did your senior year look like? Uh, it was uh, shaved. So, yeah. It, you would was prefer the shaved over the luscious locks? <laughs> yeah. From the well, year? I guess it, it goes back to what we were talking about. If you, if you don't. And if you don't want it done, then, you know, you got to stop people from doing <laughs> it. So I gave it away a long time ago. So six sacks in the Cotton Bowl. Like, you could not be stopped. What went right that day? Well, I think uh, there, you know, it was just kind of a, a perfect storm, so to speak. Um, I was coming in, and, you know, kind of to my own as a player and confidence and ability, um, as well as the team was meshing. And so a lot of the schemes we were running – um, you know, I mean, I was comfortable with and I knew what I had to cover as far as my assignment. But at the same time, I knew what would be exposed and, and maybe where I could gamble and uh, just comfortable with the system. But it, also the the coaching and the, the schemes and the, the game planning uh, also kind of came to a, to a point there where we were really um, able to diagnose a lot of plays, you know, based on formation before the game. And we were talking off air um, a few minutes ago. You still have the uh, statue from that game? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a good one to keep. Yeah, th I, that, that one actually uh, did not make the, uh, the recycle bin. But, the, you know, all the, uh, the high school and, uh, you know, peewee uh, junior accolades, those, those get put away. But, yeah, I've obviously kept the ones that um, 
are significant. You should get that one framed, hang it in your house along with that picture that we just showed of oh, your yeah. junior year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. Shea Muirbrook with us, the 1996 WAC Defensive Player of the Year from the 14 and 1 BYU Cougars team to finish number five in the country. Other than the Cotton Bowl, do you have like a most memorable game that you played and that you performed in at BYU? Uh, there's actually quite a few. I mean, I remember Notre Dame and South Bend. Uh, I remember against Oklahoma in the cop, uh, the Copper Bowl. Yeah, 94. Um, you know, I remember uh, against UCLA as a freshman. Uh, we didn't win that game. We got hammered. And so, I mean, there's just a, across the board, there's a, a bunch of memories there that obviously I have. Um, but, I mean, games that stand out. I remember the Colorado State game as a, as a sophomore. I think was kind of a come out game for me. And I, at that point, I really um, was able to, you know, take my game to a, to another level in that I was just able to diagnose plays um, extremely fast. And I was getting there in that game, I particularly against Colorado State. I mean, I, I remember beating the running back. I was tackling him in the backfield. I don't know how many times, but uh, <laughs> I mean, it was just one of those games where it was, I mean, I was seeing the holes open up faster than he was on the other side and I was beating him to it. And, uh, and so it, it kind of set a pattern, you know, once you learn something, it's like, Oh, I can do that all the time. You know what I mean? And then you just apply it to your game going forward. So we've heard the story and it's a great story about Ed Keel, you know, talking to Omar Morgan, uh, about the play, you know, Hey, jump inside. What was your perspective of that play? Because you're in the middle of the field on that one. too. Well, uh, I think what um, what had been happening is because I was, um, you know, it was opening up for me that that was a good read by uh, by Ed Kill, because what was happening is they were open it, you know, I mean, to to hit the blocking assignment, they were opening it up. And so it was giving me an alley to to run through. But at the same time, it was me vacating that zone right where they were throwing it. And so um, so that was a good catch by Ed, definitely. Uh, no question about it. Um, you know, I, I always think about – I have played that uh, play over and over again in my mind, and a lot of people don't know this. But, I, you know, I mean, it would have been just as easy for me to step in front of that and run it back for six as uh, James Dye. So, uh, <laughs> and so that, you know, I mean, it, um, it obviously worked out um, great. But in, in my mind, that's a play that it's like, oh, man, if I would have just, you know what I mean, stepped in front of it, then that would have been another great play people would be talking about. You're like, Ed, why'd you tell Omar? <laughs> <laughs> what did you tell me? I was right there, man. Come on, man. Yeah, right yeah, hey. Come on. Uh, no, so, I mean, it, it was definitely uh, one of those deals where, you know, I'm just glad it worked out the way it did. Listen, we're pumping your six sacks thing, so we're making sure that you're Yeah. Like, hey, is Omar Morgan in the Cotton Bowl Hall of Fame? <laughs> no. <laughs> He'll join us coming yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, you do have that going for you as well. You can you can hang that over his head. Shay, it's been a pleasure to talk to you, man. It's my yeah, pleasure. Thanks, thanks for having me, guys. Glad to have you back here at BYU Broadcasting and on BYU Sports Nation. Stop and sign the flag. Oh, yes. You Please, sign, sign the flag. Absolutely. We, we were, we've been looking for a Cotton Bowl MVP, so this is perfect. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> All right. You. I got that on my resume. Hall of Famer. <laughs>